This conference will now be recorded. In this session, I'm going to explain the concept of outreach project. Okay, and how we are mapping it through SAP project system and plant maintenance integration. So this is the one of best example to explain the integration of IM and PA, uh, the, the project system and plant maintenance. Sometimes we are getting the questions in our interview that just give us one example where we are using PS and PM together. Okay, so interviewer just want to listen one scenario or just need a, at least overview on the scenario where we can use IM, ES plus plant maintenance. Okay, so plant maintenance can be directly integrated with IM, that is investment management, and we can integrate plant maintenance to project system also. So this is again depends on the scenario. Okay, so I'm just taking the scenario where I'm not just more focusing on the budget part, that is to just understand that is just to manage our maintenance activities in a large project okay so here the agenda is to explain the concept of outage project maintenance okay? and then i'll take you through the system transactions how we can see the major transaction to be executed in outage project so outage project basically uh, in any plant where we are looking to perform the maintenance routine maintenance activities okay where or preventive maintenance activity in a large okay as per the schedule so here we can create a project to manage all the maintenance activities so what happened let's say we are having a complete plant okay and in this plant for some of machines some of equipment just we want to do the maintenance uh, as per the periodically as per uh, like as per your your schedule okay so what we can do according to the structure or according to the reporting requirement we can create a project structure and project system and then we can align it with maintenance order okay so for example just i'm taking one uh, example here uh, let's say this is your plant okay just understand the structure here let's say this is your plant okay and this plant is having different systems okay let's see this is system one okay and this is system so in the same plant you may have multiple systems right so okay and uh, this system can have multiple processes but i'm just considering here equipment directly so let's say this is a one equipment and this is another equipment Similarly, I'm having equipment here also in the system too. Okay, so just, this is equipment three, and this is equipment four. So just I have taken very simple scenario here where I'm having plant that is my logistic plant or just you can understand as per the functions wise. Okay, where let's say I'm just considering this is my manufacturing unit and I'm considering this manufacturing unit as a plant. And this plant is logistic plant for me, okay? Or this may be a maintenance plant. Or along with that maintenance plant, this will be, this may be my maintenance planning plant also. So here, for the, to just keep all my maintenance activity, I can understand in the form of a structure that whatever, the maintenance I need for this equipment, I need to create multiple maintenance orders here, right? Okay, so let's say I can create a maintenance, different kind of maintenance order. So example, this may be my breakdown maintenance order, or this may be my preventive maintenance order. So just understand this actually generally we used to take it here preventive maintenance order okay which is we are scheduling as per my maintenance requirement sometimes if my breakdown is also happened in the same period so we are just including that activity that maintenance order also in the same schedule 
okay so let's say these breakdown maintenance order and preventive maintenance orders have been created for equipment one okay so just for understanding purpose i'm just keeping it under the equipment one okay so if you see here this is the structure which i'm keeping okay this one is the structure and this is the part where i'm managing it through maintenance order and plant maintenance so where i'm just keeping this structure to manage my maintenance order this is a part of plant project system okay so here i can create a, this is a first level of wbs element along with the project definition and this is the next level of wbs element and then again further i can create a next level of wbs element also but for equipment we are not recommending it to create an individual wbs element but in some of career scenarios this may require where we are having uh let's say some other scenarios I'll, I'll i'll explain in my next session okay so here just consider till here we are creating a wbs element okay or let's say sometimes for example uh, this is equipment i have considered here this may be a function location for example i'm saying let's say location one location two location three likewise we are having locations and under that whatever the multiple equipments you are having you are creating maintenance order for that so this may be a scenario okay for example if i'm saying system one system two okay i'm saying floor one floor two floor three floor four these are the four different locations and under that i may have multiple equipments okay so just i we need to do the maintenance on equipment so with reference to that maintain with, with reference to that equipment we will create maintenance orders okay so this hierarchy this structural hierarchy will keep it in the project system okay and then further to manage my maintenance orders that maintenance order will be created here in plant maintenance and further process has to be taken care in plant maintenance only okay so here i'm just taking one scenario for example let's say when you are starting when when we are doing any 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 outage project okay in that case whatever the maintenance orders have been created okay as a regular maintenance requirement for example breakdown or some uh, general maintenance and uh, then apart from that preventive maintenance so that has to be aligned with your exact equipment location right where my equipment is mounted okay so along with that we just need to assign these orders to that particular locations okay so how we are doing it there are two ways to do that whenever we are creating a maintenance order same time we can assign this wbs element to that particular maintenance order okay there is one more scenario here to just focus if we are looking for scheduling in more detail in that case we can create a network activities also in project system so whenever we are scheduling it as per my uh, maintenance requirement okay so if we are shifting the schedule that everything we can manage it from project system itself so here to explain this integration i have just kept the very simple scenario i'm not going to use a network and activities in this example but yes that is also very very important scenarios or this is required widely by the <coughs> by the uh, outage team okay where we need to do <coughs> sorry where we need to do all this scheduling based on based on the project requirement okay so let me just go through of it in the system how we can execute it so first of all i'll create one project and project system including my plant system and function location as a floor one floor two floor three floor four and then equipment with reference to that we will create one maintenance order and then we'll assign it to wbs element and we'll see how we can analyze this data in reports Yeah, so let's see how we can how we can uh, create project here so to to create a project 
I we need to come into TJ twenty N. That is a project builder transaction. Here we can uh, let me check here through Fury app. So. Project control, project management, project control management. Let me show you. Yeah, so here the project builder, this is the application which we can use to create a project. So click here. Okay, now I'm going to create a project definition first. So select project. Here we need to search the project coding mask. So here MEP hyphen zero 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 zero. This is a maintenance engineering project where I'm going to use this coding mask for my project. And then I'll search it, find. So this is the project which is proposed by system to create here. And here I'm saying, let's say this is a plant. Plant one. Okay. And uh, here I'm seeing SAP PS integration. Just to understand. And here project profile I'm selecting, that is a standard project profile, press enter. Uh, based on the project profile, all these organization objects will be best. This is controlling area, company code, business area, plant, everything I have just considered the standard. Okay, and uh, this is my system status as of now, and on the left side I can see my project definition. Uh, let me create a WBS element here to, to create a first level of WBS element. Right click here, go to create WBS element. System is proposing me this WBS element MEP hyphen triple zero one, but I'll keep it same as project definition. So this is a plant. Press enter. Then again within plant one, I'll create three WBS element. So this is, let's see, uh, system one. Okay, then again, system two. System three. And under system one, I'll create, let's say, floor one, floor two, floor three, or location one, location, location. And then save, intermediate save. So we can save here through this button or intermediate save. If I'm saving it by using this save button, then uh, I will be out of this uh, project, okay. But if I want to be remain here in the same project, we can go with the intermediate. So project is being created. So this project is created here, okay. Uh, now project is created. Let me create one order also here, okay. Let me see here available order, okay, and uh, then we will assign this order to this project okay so let me just keep it here open this project uh, okay and uh, i'll keep it in display and then um, let me create my maintenance order through gui okay that will be very fast so how i can search Available maintenance orders here in the system, you can go to transaction IW38. So this is the order status it is showing, outstanding in process, completed historical. Okay, here you can search it by order number or order type, function location, equipment, material. So let me see available maintenance order in the system. 
period i am just keeping from date 17 july to 15th october 2023 okay let me execute it so these are the order which are available so i can use this order okay this all, all order types are pm01 i can go individually here in the order okay and uh, you need to come here on additional data and here you can enter the wbs element okay but apart from that there is one transaction through which you can directly drag and drop okay so let's uh, let us understand that transaction uh, i'm opening another session here the transaction code is ed emps come here and here you select the order type so here my order type is pm01 which i'm going to sign and then execute it now database profile this is a database profile and here we are going to select our project so our project is mep-0001 this is coming automatically let me remove this network order because this is by default it is coming because i have navigated to this project so that's why this was coming here then execute so here in left side i'll see the maintenance order okay. so this is the only maintenance order which is available to assign to project okay this is the only one so here in left side you will see the maintenance order okay just let me explain here these are the maintenance order here you will see the list of maintenance order and this is the project structure here so let's say to this location one you just want to assign this maintenance order so here you click okay and drag and drop it here so once you are dropping your maintenance order will be here okay and then what you need to do you need to just save it uh, okay so this is once you are assigning okay automatically it is it is saved here now what we need to do you come out save the changes yes now if you want to see how it is assigned there is one transaction here cn41n okay you come check the project okay this is the project okay and execute it here go to transaction you just open the structure and here you can see your signed maintenance order so this is the maintenance order which we have just assigned if you navigate it to you just double click here it will take you to iw33 transactions so here you can navigate you go to the additional data now you can see your wbs element is here so this is the way how you can assign your maintenance order to wbs element okay so in next video i'll just explain how you can execute this in detail uh, how you can do the planning in project system to manage your outage project and then i'll just take you through how you can execute your maintenance order okay i'm just trying to keep it very simple and short and uh, if you have any specific scenarios to be explained here in plant maintenance or in project system i'm i, I will make some more videos to just make it easy Thank you. So to get similar kind of videos, you just subscribe my channel and like it.